Howdy folks, it is Plug Survival and welcome to my second videos of Cam Cretaceous. So, uh, in today's videos, uh, I'm gonna give my review about Cam Cretaceous Season 2. Alright, so <clears throat> let's hear my review. So it's a continuation from uh, the previous season. Uh, the group must survive and find another way to off the island. And when they found the main street, they searched something that could help. Well, uh, they found the beacon that can send signal, but it was used by Rexy to Jurex as her nest. So they make a plan and send the signal. They did it. Uh, the group can stay at the main street and have to take care of Yes because of her injured ankle. So they built a safe safe camp from the destroyed camp Cretaceous and gather anything they can find. They also encountered the baryonyx at the clinic. There are two of them, Grim, Limbo, and Chaos. Later, the girls went out to investigate strange noise and frozen flower. Brooklyn, who used to be unboxing things and stuff for her content on social media, got attracted to find something related to Manticorp and Secret of Dr. Wu. Eventually, she found an envelope written E750. And then, the group finds two echo tourists named Mitch and Tiff. Actually, they are Hunter and their tour guide have a strange suspicious looking guy Jerry has become Mitch and Tiff guide to see the dinosaurs while Brooklyn and Kenji investigate Hap but cock and run away to the dead end. Eventually Hap got knocked by Pen and Pumpy. Pen who fell from the monorail is survived and met his sidekick Pumpy. After a long time left by Bumpy, Ben become a brave kid and make his way to survive and fight Toro. Well, uh, this scene makes me feel a bit uncomfortable and not get into the logic. I mean, uh, how a young teen boy who was afraid of anything and now become a tough guy and dare to turn Toro with a spear to get to the main street. Uh, where's the logic of this? I mean, Toro, the current Taurus, it's a carnivore that could eat human. And Ben by Toro? How is that possible? Well, if we back to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, um, <coughs> when Owen encounter with the Carnotaurus, uh, we can see how scary is he. All right, right, I get it. Uh, it's an animated show to try get viewers. So I think this scene is about the uh, rise of heroism to fight the uh, villain, maybe? That's just my talk. Uh, while fighting Toro with spears as the only weapon, uh, Bumpy, already grown up, came to rescue Ben and pushes Toro and fell. This scene uh, reminded me of Disney dinosaurs where uh, or when the iguanodons uh, pushes the Carnotaurus off the cliff yeah 
and then uh, Ben could meet and Tiff plan and reveals and reveals it uh, to Kenji and Brooklyn. The rest of the group finally discover that Mitch and Tiff is a hunter. They want to hunt the dinosaurs. But the group make a plan to stop them. Darius lead the hunters to the main street. However, Hap sacrifice himself to the parent next to save Brooklyn and Kenji. Uh, I was thinking why Hap sacrificed himself. I mean, he's a tough guy and I don't think he's supposed to do that. That's kind of a uh, weird thing to do. Why he would sacrifice himself. Alright. Uh, Jerry's plan is lead the hunters to the T-Rex, but it didn't work as planned. Uh, the hunters made their way to the watering hole where the, where the dinosaurs get around to drink. Uh, in the middle of the way, Tiff shot Grim to Paranx. Well, it's a sad moment. I feel bad for Grim. R.I.P. When Mitch and Tiff made to the watering hole, they got blocked by Jerry's and Brooklyn, and the dinosaurs scattered by the rest of the group. But the dinosaurs turned back because of Rexy chased them. Mitch and Tiff run into the jungle and Mitch traveled by his own trap. And then Tiff left him and Mitch got eaten alive by Rexy. Tiff made to the boat but also eaten by the Baronix. Well, uh, the Baronix jumped to the boat and eat Tiff. The group reunite and done waiting for rescue. They plan to make their own way to get off the island. Uh, conclusion, there are some events that uh, make me feel cringe. Like Ben fight Toro with only spear and Hap lost his mind just to save the cage by sacrifice himself but overall the season 2 is really good there are so many unexpected things like Ben is still alive and become a jungle boy and I thought Hap is a a bad dude because how he, he looks but eventually Mid and Tiffis. I'm so excited for the season three to see what is uh, E750. So I read this uh, 4.5 out of five stars. All right, guys, that's all my talk and review about Camp Cretaceous season two. So we'll see you again on my review on season 3. So yeah, uh, as always, I like to hear you talk, uh, your opinion in the comment. I will read that and I will appreciate and respect it. Alright guys, I'll feel it in.